Oh, hey, so I'm going to teach you the song Margarita. It starts like that. Just like zoom in on the keys if you need to. What do you think of it so far? Did it make sense? That was pretty much all of it in a row. I guess I should break it down a little. Just put it on half speed and watch it. No, I'll tell you some things. So this part uh, is the easy part. So I'll spend a long time here. Okay, here we go. How does one break down stuff? So you got the two. Play it again. This is the best chord of the whole song here. What even is that? It's some kind of G. It doesn't have a third. 
does have a 5 in the bass, does have a major 7. So we were in E flat. And then we go up a major 3rd. But it's sneaky because of that, I suppose. So we're in G now. To the 6. To the 2. To the 5. New thing. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's E over D, but what key are we in now? Oh, uh, we're in A. We're in A now, so how does this chord make sense? Oh, it's the 5 chord. With the 7 of the 5 in the bass. Do you get it? It's a 7 of the 5 in the bass. Do you get it? To the 6. To the 2. To the 5. Okay, so that's the whole same thing, a whole step up. Right? Know what I mean? Where was I? With 7 to the 2 and the 5. 2. And now we somehow get back to E flat. So. A quick detour to F sharp major. 5 to 1. And then we have this walk up that feels like it gets back to E. It feels like it's going to go to E. It feels like it's going to be. Right? But along the way, it has this uh, other thing that happens. It's crackling again. So, we got two. We're in E right now. How do we get to E? There's the F sharp. Now we're in E. And now we're in E flat right there. Sharp chord to the five to the one. This is a move that happens in life. Or in this case. So we got. The reason that that doesn't sound extremely jarring, it, it is pretty, there's a hair on the mic. It is pretty jarring, but not all the way jarring because of the melody. How do you make weird chords good? You make the melody work. Let me rephrase. If you have a good melody, you can, you know. That's the rephrase. Oh, here's the melody. modulation down a half step okay first two is the same G major right now and to the two now is the modulation to a to the six two Five, and then we have, uh, is that a sus? Mm. Mm. Yes, it is, but it's not this one, it's this one. Mm -hmm. Are we recording? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, last time, this was how we got to the F sharp, but this time, it's... This 2-5 to the... We're going to A major this time. This is a 3-6-3. Three, 3-6, three, three, six, little walk up. Do it nice and fast so you can't get it. Now I'll show you. Two diminished chords. All of these are gospel moves. I've stolen them all. So this is, okay, does that make sense? These diminished chords allow you to walk the bass up like this. But in real life, with their real roots, it would be this. C sharp seven to F sharp seven, two, five, one.
okay? So now we're in A for the chorus of the song. Here's the first chorus. We'll see if I can get rid of that later. I probably can't. It doesn't matter. It's not the point. This is a sus2 minor. Flat 7, 1 minor. Flat 7, 1 minor. Chord. Look at it. Inhale it. A major over B flat. Super crazy, and it's if you're just looking at it like that, but it's all part of F sharp. It's really, it sounds, it feels sort of like F sharp, sharp nine, right? Does that make sense? Do I need to talk more about it? Yes. It's an F sharp seven, sharp nine chord with the third in the bass. But if you don't know that, it just looks like this crazy chord. Beginning of the chorus. Crazy chord. Okay, almost the same thing, but then it becomes major. So this is uh, that. That's it with its normal roots. Boom, boom, boom. But uh, I think in the first chorus, the bass actually doesn't play here. So it's implied that it's, but I think it's just that. It's a nice drop two voicing, which means you take the second from the top and drop it down an octave. Here's the chord, and you take the second from the top and drop it down an octave, and then you just hit it a bunch of times. This move right here is good. Okay. Moving in sixths. I proud. So what's going on here, folks? It's all part of this scale. Jazz is chord scales. Uh, it's a mode of melodic minor. The, the 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 minor seven flat five mode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, it doesn't matter. So uh, I'm just this part. I'm just still thinking of it as part of that scale. be familiar to you if there's a G in the bass it would be this okay oh nice I played another note okay so that's the two chord we're in A one over five now this one uh interesting because well I just went through a lot of stuff in my mind did anyone get that so 
it's this. But that would make me think that it was B. But when you play B, it's bad. So it's not that. Then I thought maybe it's a diminished chord. But that's also bad. Diminished bad. So it's just this. What even is this chord? It's not a B. B's for bad. We've been through this. I don't know what this is. It's sort of like... Well, it's an A chord. Oh, it's an A chord. Uh, I'm skipping this part. You tell me what it is later. In the comments, like and subscribe. Stri okay. So it's this chord that you talk about. 3-6-2, right? 2-5. We're in A right now. 2-5 where the bass... I think the bass might go to there, but in the piano it doesn't. So this is an E7. Follow me. Right? It's like... So that's a 2-5 to A. Now... Holy shit. Oh! Why does that work? It's this move. If you are... If you have practiced a lot of two five ones, If you... It's this. It's this. Flat six... So it's a tritone sub two five one. Let's talk about that for a moment. So you probably are familiar with like a tritone sub meaning instead of it's right, you're subbing the bass note. The five chord becomes the flat two because they're a tritone away. That's one reason. The other reason is it doesn't make sense what I'm saying, but so check it out. Let, let me take a step back. The five chord has the flat seven and the three, right? Those are like the important chord tones, flat seven and three. If you play a tritone away in the bass, what happens? The flat seven becomes the three, the three becomes the flat seven. So it functions the same way. So that's why a tritone sub works. So you can do two, five, one, just as well as you can do two, flat, two, one. Okay. So this is one step farther than that. It's tritone subbing the two as well as the five. So instead of uh, instead of two flat two one, it's the tritone sub of the two, which is that. Did that explanation make sense? It barely did to me. So if you followed it, great. But that's how we get from A major to E flat major. So here it is. And just like before, it actually works because of the frickin' melody. Right? It's not some disjointed giant leaping melody, it's just something singable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're back to the next verse, which is the third verse. Nothing changes.
this. You explain that to me in the comments. Here's new. So this is where the first time it went to that whole tritone sub bonanza. But now. So. That's B flat seven. A seven, but this melody is still lingering, which makes it some craziness. It's a dominant seven with a four on top. So let's call that an extension. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, se uh, eighteen. It's a natural eighteen on top. Natural eighteen. It's got a nice consonant color there. Um, so that's uh, this move. Man, it's so crackly. Do you hear it? Sorry. Okay, so it's a A7-6, or a 13, to the flat 13. This is a, like, bossa nova thing that happens a lot. Right? Right? So that's a A7. A7, so that would be the 5 of D. So it's like we're going to D, but we go to B minor which is the relative minor of D, so that's why A7 resolves to B minor. Got it? I'm hungry. that it has to be this. Flat six, four minor, one. I feel like I haven't written too many things that have this kind of move, but, well, I guess, okay, maybe it's like, it's sort of, it's this, really. Sort of the same scale from this thing. from ah it's the volume knob oh and it's that okay this is located at keyboard heaven if you want some crackly stuff come here keyboardheaven.nyc This Rhodes is the Rhodes, by the way, that's on the recording, and uh, it's a good one, so yeah. started and the whole melody happens there so this is a new key now but it's exactly the same as the first verse up in E 
flat where we started. Song writing win. Right, so it, this whole sequence modulates uh, a tritone away, and we learn that from the beginning because the first verse goes like this. doesn't go to A, but we're in there when we get there. So that's a tritone away. So when we do it in A, we get back to E flat where the song started. I wasn't really aware of that when I was writing it. Uh, it just sort of all happens because you know there's a flow and that's when good things happen. And without the flow, if you're trying to do it with math, you will fail. Ending. that the song can be found in the com in the description um it's part of the deluxe edition of my album jake sherman get sexy and um hope to see you soon around the world